Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage and today we're going to be diagnosing the inoperating uh, headlamp wipers and also the washer system for the headlamps. So as you can see the wiper arms are removed because I'm currently uh, sanding them down and uh, I'm going to be repainting them so they're going to be looking really nice and then I'm going to be trying to you know install a replacement wiper blades uh or replacement wiper blades on them because the old ones are bad they're from 1989 but anyways let's go ahead and uh work on that uh what we know so far is that the windshield wiper uh the mono wiper is working and the washer uh for the windshield is also working but this thing is not working nothing is spraying out here so we have to check that out so I do not have the wiring schematic currently for this system, but I do have it on my phone and unfortunately I can't show it to you guys. So I'm going to be going over the schematic with you guys a little bit separately, but I'm going to show you like almost like step by step on what to do and how to diagnose this system. So in order for your headlamp wipers and washers to be working, your headlamp switch has to be in uh turned on position so it has to be either this way or all the way like right here also for those of you who are wondering uh i took off the cover for the fuse box and this relay right here i'm doing a bunch of stuff here but this relay right here is for the uh windshield uh, or sorry for the headlamp uh mechanism so that's what i'm going to be testing right here as well just to make sure everything is working as it should and also i'm going to be testing the washer pump right here for the headlamps headlamps okay so this is this washer pump right here is for the windshield and it's working properly and right now i'm actually testing uh this uh this one is actually going right there so i'm going to be testing right now uh, to make sure it has power and ground okay all right guys, so let's go over the system really quick. I kind of printed this these two pages out because they are together. So this works on uh, basically almost all W124s and some W126s, basically almost identical system. I'm gonna include a picture for you guys somewhere here right now so you can pause and actually study the wiring schematic, but I'm also gonna go over this wiring schematic with you guys right now. All right, so this is how everything works, okay? So you have two fuses, okay? There's a, one fuse right here, uh, which is hot and, uh, uh, you know, when the key is turned or when the car is running. And then there's another fuse right here, which is hot with the headlamp switch in the on position. All right, so we're gonna focus on this side right now. Our main system or part is actually right here, which is the uh, relay for the headlamp washer and the wiper system. So this relay is actually really important. It's actually your main um, uh, circle of attention here. Now, uh, let's go over this side. So the fuse is hot, right? So obviously check the fuses, make sure that those two fuses are good. Uh, fuse number two, and this is fuse number three. So check those fuses, make sure both, uh, you know, both sides of the fuse are hot. So before you start testing that relay, make sure your fuses are good. All right, there are two fuses that you need to check, but this thing makes it so nice and easy that you can, literally new cars don't have the same stuff anymore, sadly, but this one has all the designation for each fuse. It's amazing. But in my case, fuses are good. So we're gonna move on to the, uh, to testing the relay. So there's a, a little mistake in the diagram that I noticed. Basically, this wire is not brown. This is actually supposed to be black, yellow, red. There's just one wire. It goes to the headlamp washer pump. So we're gonna test for power. Literally, we're gonna turn the key on. We're gonna press the combination switch in for the washer. And we're gonna check for power right here, guys. That's what we're gonna check right now. All right, guys, so this is uh this wire right here is the black uh yellow and red okay so three colored wire just one wire uh black yellow and red and i have it attached and i'm attached to the battery negative and we're going to test it to make sure that the power comes there all right the relay is installed but 
Um, before I do that, I do have this uh, thing just I'm going to be spraying the windshield so make sure it's not running dry. Just a window cleaner. Um, and what I'm going to do is the ignition is on and I have to turn the headlights on a little bit. Um, these bees are crazy. They're not letting me work on this car. But anyways, I'm going to activate. I'm just literally going to push the switch. I'm going to activate that. Uh, uh, just you guys need to pay attention to the uh test light right there all right i'm about to activate it all right look at that okay and we heard we heard these motors actually working uh I heard, at least i heard this one i don't know about that one oh sorry i didn't know i was zoomed in but uh we heard that this motor right here was working i don't know about that one i think it, it is working um also as you saw we were getting power to that guy all right so that's good so that means it's working as it should all right so uh we still need to test the ground make sure we have a ground but that's going to be easy but we are getting power just don't forget that you have to have your headlights turned on in order for your headlamp system to work uh as it should okay so that's off and we're going to test the ground Right after checking for power here, which we do have, 12 volts. Now we're gonna check this brown wire because it actually ends up going to the headlamp wiper motor and then it ends up going to ground. So this brown wire is literally like ground wire. So we're gonna test for this ground to make sure we have a good ground on this side. All right, so I have a test light connected to the brown wire, which is a ground and I just need to touch the positive and we do have a ground so everything is working here as it should so I can go ahead and reconnect this wire this connector onto the washer pump like so and also for any of you who are wondering for the motors if your motor motors are not working for the headlamp assembly this right here is the connector right here this connector i was gonna actually unplug it but i don't have to do it because i think they're working as they should okay and for this one it should have a connector also somewhere there so this is the relay that's responsible for the headlamp assembly washer so i'm gonna pull it out and i don't know if this relay is good or not we don't know that yet, but I want to make sure that we're getting power and ground and everything to this uh, relay and out of it. So whatever you need to test, guys, whatever, uh, you know, pin you need to test, it's really nice because these are actually labeled. So this one says D, so that means it's actually for the headlamp washer and motor assembly. Uh, so also if you, whatever pin you need to test, it's actually marked, okay, to the connector. So there's a five, three, okay, and six, four, whatever. So it makes it really nice and easy for you to test all this. Now, when you're testing the power, the power comes here to the combination switch, then you push the combination switch in and that will activate your washer for the windshield and also sh the power is going to go from here to the windshield washer pump and then from the windshield washer pump it actually has to go to the headlamp washer pump and then from the headlamp washer pump it goes to this guy which is right headlamp wiper motor and all that uh, but that that's one thing now we just need to make sure that we're getting power to this relay first so we're going to test we're gonna turn the key on we're going to test the pin number four at the relay to make sure that it's getting power um, and once you push the switch in with the key on combination switch you should be getting hot right here on this pin number four so we're going to turn the ignition on and with a test light connected to ground, we're going to test pin number four, which is this one. All right. 
and when I activate the wiper, uh, the washer system, don't forget that right there. When I activate the wiper system, uh, this test light should light. It's basically bringing power to the relay. So I'm gonna just push this switch. Okay, let's see if I can do it. Now look at that. All right, the test light is lit. So we're getting power to the pin number four. That's good. And now we're gonna test uh, the ground. Now we're testing this pin number five at the washer, uh, headlamp washer really. So pin number five goes, it's a brown wire, goes to ground. So we're gonna test this pin number five for a good ground. So the ground is pin number five, which is this guy. All right, and uh, I'm gonna take the test light and I'm gonna put it to positive, okay? So like one of these is positive. As you can see, we have a ground. Okay, so the ground is good on pin number five. Pin number two of this headlamp washer relay uh, also goes to ground. So we're gonna test that, pin number two. Okay, so there's another ground we have to test, which is pin number two, uh, which is this pin. It's also ground. All right, so we're gonna test that guy. That's also good. So both grounds are good, pin five and six. And pin four was good too and we're, we're getting power there's two more pins we have to check all right now we're going to check for power at this other pin which is pin number one and the power comes from this fuse so you have to have your headlights on okay headlights on and then once you do that you're going to check for power this pin number one of this relay make sure you have power so we have to check pin number one so it's gonna be this guy, pin number one. And that's basically a power. This should be a power feed coming. But what we have to do, again, I'll spray this. Uh -huh. So what we have to do with that power is uh, we have to turn the headlight switch on like that. And that's actually basically it. You know, with the headlights on, we're getting power to that relay. Pretty simple, headlight switch. Okay, that's all. So we're getting all the power and all the grounds are good and everything. And now the last thing that we could test, but you don't really have to test it, but we can test is the power coming out, but you have to have the relay connected. So we're gonna connect the relay. And then uh, there's a power that you can test uh, for coming out from the pin number three, as far as I remember. And yeah, after you have power here, ground here, ground here, um, and power on this side, uh, pin one, literally you're gonna get power coming out here, which is gonna go to your left headlamp wiper motor. And then the other one right here, which is gonna go to your right headlamp wiper motor. So technically, if this relay is good, I mean, that relay sometimes can go bad. And, but if this relay is good, getting all, all powers and grounds, it, sh they, it should be able to activate both of these headlamp wiper motors left and right. And your washer system should be working as well. So the pin number three from that relay is going to be sending power to both the motors and the, the, also the washer. All right, so what we need to do is we need to turn the headlight switch on again. Okay, and then there's water right here. You can listen uh, to the motors. All right, so I'm gonna activate that. Look at that. She's spraying. She's spraying onto my W115. So that means this pump is actually working too. And this motor is working, but I gotta make sure that this one is working. So we're gonna check, you know, hopefully it's not dead. Uh, but it looks like this, this is working too. But maybe the, maybe this thing is just clogged a little bit or something like that. But this one's for sure spraying. So that's amazing. All right, so that's it. That means that our relay is good and everything is actually working as it should. 
so what the problem was before is uh my one of the relays was actually bad so one of the combination relays was bad and it was causing for the headlamp washers and wipers not to work so here's why this headlamp washer is not spraying or it's spraying but it's not spraying in the right place so this hose is disconnected so we're gonna connect this hose back carefully all right that's it the hose is uh, reconnected but you have to when you're reconnecting you have to hold it from the other side that's it all right so also change these headlamp wipers I already installed one of them right here and I'm about to install the other one on this side it's gonna be like new